Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the third episode, no, fourth, the fourth episode of Soupscraft. I'm already starting to lose track. Um, it's been two weeks since the last upload. That's my apologies. Um, yeah, I kind of got lost in time. But anyways, um, we're in the house. Well, a house. It's vacant. But we finally named the dog Cooper, so... We know we used a name tag. We have a lot more name tags for that came from though, from the AFK fish farm out there. Brian is still here. Um, you know, they're chilling. But we're leaving. Bye. They will stay here. For eternity. Forever and ever. Wondering. Why are they alone? But they'll have the weed to keep them company. And the infinite water source. And the fish farm. But I will be taking. Um, some of the materials from the Swiss farm. If I really needed any of these things. But what I'm here for is the material itself. Because I'm going to remake this fish farm. And you'll see where. One chest, two chests. I don't need leather booties. Bon voyage. Alright. Let's jump into the portal. And where we are going, uh we've already been. And it's where the other portal is. Um you know. I like this, uh whatchamacallit, the, uh, the whole getting on top of that other thing, that's really nice, um, but almost there, the torch is offset, which means we're right on it, very loud, alright, so here we are, um, these are floating, there were blocks here, but I did clear them all out, that's what all this is from, orange terracotta is also from that, but here we are, um, this will be where we build our second base of operations for the series. Um, Discord notifications, I tell you. The sun is setting on a beautiful day in Minecraft. God, Discord. So let's grab a bed, set it down for our first night in our second location. Ah. <sighs> Sunset. Alright, so now that the sun's up, I'd like to talk about what our next plans are. And if Discord doesn't, shut up. Hold on. I'm going to mute Discord real quick. I will be right back. So that's taken care of. Let's get on with explanations. So, the village, um, if I do turn up my render distance, warm. All the way through to drinks. You can see the village. Right there. And it does, my PC is chugging a bit. Not gonna lie. It is. Because 32 chunks in each direction. A lot. But there's the other village that has the slime trunk at it. So if we go back and turn that down. Turn it down to 16 chunks. Just so we can still see the, the village but uh but um you know we uh we got spider spawners below us we got the two spider spawners there and there um i'd like to build right around this area you know and seeing as we're in the mesa i kind of don't really know what to build kind of like i have ideas floating in my head um Maybe I use this terracotta I got. Um, maybe I use uh, um, maybe I use some cobblestone as well. Just kind of tossing ideas up in my head as as of now. Um, I forgot to put this in there, but um, but for now I am going to build. What 
I would like to believe is going to branch off into our base to come. So I'll get back to you when that gets finished. Welcome back, lad and ladettes. You've kind of seen a little sneak peek of what it just was. What is it? And this is an update because I'm not done with it yet. I've been working on this for about an hour now. I did about five minutes of brainstorming and then I thought of doing a little bit something like this. Now it's uh, stone bricks, regular stone, some gravel, and diorite on the bottom. These slabs are temporary just so I can get in and out. Um, I kind of did this on the side. Hold on. Dirt is the best scaffolding in the game. Cannot change my mind. And I just ran off of it because I'm brain dead. Best gap in the game. Anyways, um, pretty much, uh, it's gonna be a two to three story structure. It's gonna have a nice balcony right here. Um, it main block palette is stone brick, stone gravel, and then a little bit of andersite. I like what I did with the floor here. It's oak, oak planks, oak logs. Some of them are faced up and like sideways, and they're stripped to em emulate. Uh, like a worn, a worn wooden floor. Um, I've been smelting for a while now. Uh, yeah, but I do plan to like break this up a bit more. I mean, you see like on walls, like in this corner, it's from here. All of this is normal. Like I, I, I like how I break it up. So like what I, what I normally do is I just look, and I just do shapes. So boom, one, two. Three. What I did with the gravel is I had a limited supply of gravel, so I looked down, and I walked up to a wall, mined it, walked up till I heard my character at another wall, and that's kind of what I did for that. Um, now, I don't really know what the layout of the interior is going to be yet. I'm still slowly just trying to get up, built up, and um, then we'll go from there. But currently, this is an update of what is happening, how things are going. So I will, I guess, get back to you again when either I, you know, think it's looking better or it's even done. Um, probably the second one though, because it's taking a lot of brain power and it's, I gotta get this out because I've been slacking. I gotta get this out. And I'm gonna do this video on Monday. So it's not even gonna be a Minecraft Wednesday video. And then I'm gonna get a video out on Wednesday, so I have to have this all done with the edit by tomorrow night, so I can have it live, and then as I'm editing this video, I have to start doing another one, because your boy be slacking, so I'll see you when I'm done building this, I guess I'd call it the mid-base house, yeah, that's what it is, see ya. Welcome back from that quick break for you guys. Uh, another oh, 25 or so minutes for me. Um, we kind of got all this enclosed. I did miss a couple blocks. There we go. Um, I will throw a torch down right there. Um, so this is what we got. Um, right now I think this might be yeah, it's still good enough to get up here. Um, so we got the second floor going. Uh, you kind of see the outline of where the balcony will be. I did kind of cut off this corner right here because. I want to kind of make it into kind of like a tower up here, so like right here it cut off, and then it do mimic this on the other side to make somewhat of a circle slash oval shape, make it into a bit of a tower, just for a little bit of that aesthetic purpose. I haven't done any of the uh, stone or graveling on this, so you can kind of see the remnants of what was on the other layer right there, and it does all push the build back one more block um, this direction. So it is a bit bigger, smaller in some areas. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to put up here. I think andesite and cobblestone walls might be what I put up here. I'm not sure yet, but we'll get to there. And um, this is what all I'm going to do for this project and for this episode. But our next project is to get some of those villages over there turned in to some specialized peoples. So. Why don't we go on over there and see what we can do. So guys, 
bad news uh the last clip that you've seen i was um you know i recorded it or i recorded it what i did afterwards i uh, went over in the village i did some stuff i worked on the house you can see i got that up i did more texturing i added andesite to a little bit of it but the file was corrupt um i went to go do the edit it process edit process and uh the file was not compressible so i could not um do anything with it which is unfortunate because i did a decent amount but i didn't want you guys to be left in the blue and go well how did that get like that or why is that like that or you know whatever so i'm going to run through what i did so lastly what i did since i'm here already is i adjusted the layout of the house a bit i did make the walls a couple blocks higher i finished doing some more stuff up here i made the tower that i want um i gotta i put this floor up top i gotta put a roof on it uh for roofing i want to do like terracotta and wool so i gotta get um, all these wool colors and so i have to use a uh so i don't want to find sheep all the time i'm going to use a loom and let me eat real quick and what I'm going to do with the loom, which I've already pretty much done, was... Can't think. I need, can't wait to get an elytra, man. But I come over to the village, over here, and I did some explaining about how I, in episode 2 I had trapped some of the villagers. Well, now that, you know, that's corrupted, I'm not going to sit there and explain it again because... Slightly irritated, but it's okay because it's life, you know. It, it happens. But you know, I I talked about how I had trapped some of these villagers on episode two, yada yada yada. Um, this was a there was a like a little cavern right here that I filled in with terracotta, yada yada yada. Uh, this guy's a Fletcher now. I can wake him up. He sells me this stuff. I go over to these two houses. This guy is a cleric. He sells me these stuffs right now. I go over here. This guy's a toolsmith. If 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 he would if he would come close, sir. There we go. He sells me tools, stone tools currently. Uh, that's pretty much what I did here. Um, I do have these houses over here. I forgot about. So I don't remember whether or not I trapped people in these ones, because if so. No, I didn't. Ugh. But if if there was, I was gonna use the loom. Uh, nope, 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 nope. All right. But anyways, that's what I did. Um, and then I pretty much explained to you that I wanted the explained that I wanted the roof to be terracotta and wool. And I apologize for the lawnmower noise because I, I I need to record this now. I need to get this video out tomorrow. Ah, I'm gonna be shot. But um yeah so thank you for under if if you didn't understand it i'm sorry but thank you for understanding that uh not everything always works out i'm running to my house in fear but um thank you for watching what i could put out like comment subscribe and well go go join the discord link will be down below ah